Cahoga, episode four. Today, we are learning, we're working out our core, stretching our core, I don't know. You're gonna use your core when you have sex. People think that you don't, but if you're having good sex, then you will use your core. Because all the fun positions involve your core. Just like your back and your legs that we went over, you're going over core. Also, this is good for dick riding, because if you're on top, you have to um, stabilize yourself, and we went over that with your core, and you use your core for that. Um, but if you're on the bottom and it's not dick riding, but you want to have some, you know, fun, like you don't, you don't want to be born in bed, just hold yourself up like this and you can actually move your body, but you have to have more control. I haven't done it in a long time, but you have to have more control over, um, your core to do that. Like you can't just, no, you gotta like hold it and see, use your core. All of this is in your core. Okay. So stay tuned. So you already know we're going to start with the chair pose, but actually we're doing wall sits now because the chair pose is too hard for me right now. It's too um, experienced, advanced, I don't know. So we're doing wall sits, which is like a pre-chair pose. We're going to get to chair pose though. Sit on the wall. Put your booty and your back against the wall. Squat down till your thighs are like level, uh, no, parallel to the ground. Now the thing is, if you're like me and you got thighs that are thick and curvy and gross, well, they kind of don't be parallel because um, they're goofy shaped. But pretend the bone is your thigh and make the bone parallel. And you're gonna sit here for a minute. I thought I was gonna die, but I didn't. So if I didn't fucking die, then neither were you. will you. Also, make sure your like knees aren't over your feet because they will break. Also, don't do what I'm doing where my knees are bent in. I've got a wrong shaped body, so my knees bent in when I walk, but yours shouldn't. You should straighten your knees out and your feet and your knee and your ankles should all be kind of in one straight line that's perpendicular to your parallel uh, thigh bone. All right, breathe it out. Pause here if you need to, because we're about to go back to it uh, for round two. Round two, squat. I guess it's kind of a squat. It's wall squat, wall sit. These are also great for if you were um, a child of a parent in the military and you were being punished, but they didn't feel like beating you that day. So they would make you squat with your or hold your arms up in the air on the side or do both. They'd do chair pose or that sometimes they would do wall sits. Um, I guess technically it's considered child abuse, but like, it's not as bad as getting punched in the throat. I fell out right after this. Look at this shit. Ah! All right, now we're going into horse stance. I'm, I'm still getting my horse stance better, y'all. So if we've done this three times. Um, now we're doing it number four, horse stance. Um, and by the way, I'm doing chair pose and horse stance in the beginning of every single Hoga episode because uh, it builds stamina. And stamina is the main thing that you need to, to have sex properly. So stamina, stamina, stamina. It's like Tears of the Kingdom or Breath of the Wild. If your stamina goes out, it's like fucking Elden Ring. If your stamina goes out, Radagon is going to beat your ass. Build up your stamina after you build up your strength or while you build up your strength while, while using chair pose and horse dance. I forgot that I was supposed to be telling you how to do it. So horse dance, if you like karate movies, this is like the third time I've said that, whatever. If you like karate movies, it's um have your feet more than hip distance apart and squat down like you're in a squat and then just sit there. Um, this is also a great military child abuse um, position. All right, see, I was not so dramatic. Oh, there I go. My booty itched and now I breathe in. All right, ready for part two? Do it again. So we do it two times, it builds your stamina. This core stuff is all about stamina too. So like the beginning of this is all stamina because when you use your core, what you don't know is that a lot of times you use your core for stamina. All your stamina is in your core and in your thighs, which is fucking crazy, right? So remember to engage your core at every single episode, uh, uh, exercise. I'm gonna forget to say it, but that doesn't mean that you don't do it. But remember, don't do as I do, do as I say.
Keep it fucking going. Don't be a bitch. Don't be a bitch. You're almost there. There you go. 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 Breathe it out. Now we're going to plank. I actually did good on this. We're doing this two times, by the way. Um, we're not doing all exercises two times, but we're doing this one and the next one's two times. So um, have your body perpendicular to the ground, like you're laying down, basically. Um, and then put your weight all in your forearms, in your cu- in your abs, and in your feet. Uh, clench your abs, clench your booty, and just hold it there for a minute. You can do this. If you can't do it like this, you can put um, your knees on the ground, and you can uh, do it that way. But honestly, what I did, and I always have been very weak, I just sucked it up and kept doing it. Um, try to make sure your shoulders are back too. Look, we're still working on that, but at the very least... Um, at least make your make sure your body line is a straight fucking line. Oh, parallel was the word I was looking for. And breathe. And breathe, and breathe, and breathe, and breathe. All right, part two. Get back up on your toesy woesies and have your body in a straight line parallel to the floor. Uh, weight in your elbow, not in your elbows, but like put your hands, your forearms, that's what they were called. I was thinking long bone like dogs. Um, your forearms, and but your weight, all your weight should actually be in your core. You should be holding yourself up with your core. You should, ideally, your core will get so strong from, from this, you won't even need to use your hands. I saw this crazy guy on TikTok. He was doing push-ups without his hands, and it was because his core was so strong. We will get there. Also, if you can clench your booty cheeks, do it. I couldn't clench my booty cheeks because it was too rough for me. I was literally sweating, but um, hoes don't sweat, we glisten, so that never happened. Hold on. Look how good my butt, look, butt looks here. Look at that. Okay. Um, so now we're doing side plank uh, on the left side. Turn to your left side, left forearm down, uh, arm, forearm parallel to the top of your mat, body parallel to the side of your mat. Like you're laying down, taking a sexy uh, pose. Like you know how into Titanic they did the, um, oh my God, paint me like one of your French girls pose. She was on her side looking sexy, but instead of your hand being on your head, your hand's going to be down because it's a fucking exercise. Put your um, other hand in front of you because we modify it because we're still working on our core strength. If you don't if you don't need to modify it, you can put your hand on your side and just lift yourself up. So all your weight should only be in your toesy woesies, your, your hands, your little forearm, and your core is where like all of it is. Just the other stuff is just to stabilize you. Hold it. Hold it. Let me tell you something. Let me hold on. I'll tell you in a minute. We held that for 30 seconds, by the way, and we're going to do it again for 30 seconds. But let me tell you something. Okay. I might not be facially attractive from the front, but when we do this next, next pose, look at me from the side. Bruh, I'm starting to get attracted to myself losing all this weight. I'm fine. This man told me I was super fine. I thought he was crazy, but I'm fine. I'm looking at myself like, who is that bitch? It's, look at that. Look at that side profile. I am so sexy from the side. Bruh. How do I get the side of my face to look like the front of, or the front of my face to look like the side of my face? Look at that. Okay, down. You did great. Switch to the other side. Do the same thing on the right side. Okay? So, right forearm down and parallel to the top of your mat. Uh, left uh, arm just stabilizing you in front of you and... Uh, lift your body up because your body should be parallel to the side of your mat. Y'all know how to fucking lay down. Lay down on your side. Okay. And lift yourself up. 30 seconds. By the way, I was leaning forward because I fucked up. Don't do that. It's okay. We're learning this together. And that's why I do this. Because look at how cute I look. I never look good. What is going on? It's the bun. See, sometimes the buns are the most important part. Um. Anyway. Uh, what were we doing? Oh, part two. There we go. I'm sorry. I'm just distracted by my awesomeness. 
um, lift it back up and hold it there for another 30 seconds. I'm using a stop stopwatch. That's what that little black thing is. I finally found it. I don't know how, how I got it. I probably stole it from one of my ex-boyfriends because I have all their shit. The earrings are from one of them too. Hey, whatever. The ring is mine. And down. So now we're doing boat pose. This is what I was talking about. Look at me from the side. Look though. Don't I look all dainty and elegant and fine? Look at that. Who is that bitch? That's me, bitch. Anyway, boat pose, you're gonna make like a boat. Actually, this looks nothing like a boat, but it's okay. So instead of having our legs straight, we're gonna hold them because I have trouble holding my, my legs. My core is not that strong and my legs are not that strong. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna sit down you're going to put your legs and body into a V-shape while you're sitting down. And then you're going to hold underneath your legs and engage your core. Engage your core, engage your core. You're going to sit there for a goddamn minute. I didn't time this, so I'm hoping this is a minute or 30 seconds. And then you're going to do it again after I time it. All right, one more time. So like I said, all these core exercises we're doing twice. Hold it again in a V. Now, if you don't need to hold your legs, just put your legs, liter your arms literally straight out in front of you. But for those of you that are like me and that we're learning how to do this yoga stuff for uh, together, um, hold on to your legs. It's okay to not be that strong. It's not okay to not try though. So we're going to get there. Just keep going, doing it, not going it. Well, going. It's okay. Okay, done with the core. So now we're back to the normal fucking stretches that we always do. Plank, go down, lift up into cobra. We're actually going to hold cobra so we can stretch our abs a little bit. So hold it there for like 10, 15 seconds. Then you're going to push back into downward dog. Diamond, push back. What are you doing? Diamond. Ugh. My butt looks nice. Kind of. All right, push back into downward dog. Booty in the air. Heels on the floor. If you can't do it, it's okay. But guess what? If you've been doing this with me, this time we're getting better because my heels are closer to the floor. And just hold it there for a little while. Then we're going to do our pussy stretch. So right leg is going to go forward. Hold on. I'm going too fast for my own dumb self. God, I'll take all day to do anything. Anyway, right leg forward uh, into the pussy pose. You guys know this one. Left leg is straight back. Drop your feet down. And your your right leg, the, um, what's it called? Is it the foreleg? The, the bottom of the leg that looks like a forearm that it's attached to your foot. It's um, parallel to the top of the mat. So, and it's like, I think they call it scorpion when you bend the back leg. But bitch, we ain't there yet. And that's okay because we will get there. But sit there, stretch. Apparently, this is good for anxiety. Um, I don't think it is, but it does feel good. All right, push your right leg back into plank, go down, push up into cobra, hold it for just a little bit, like a, a couple seconds more than you normally would. Um, and diamond. Okay, now push it back into downward dog. Good guy, I take all day to do anything. So you're gonna hold it here for a little bit longer and then you're gonna go pussy stretch on the left side. By the way, if you have a non-pussy, you can also do this stretch. Just because something is not gendered towards you, the language is not gendered towards you, doesn't mean you can't apply it to your life. I speak for women, like I use the, the feminine terms because I'm a fucking woman. But if you're a man and you wanna do this, go for it. Who cares? You could just switch it to man terms or just apply it to your life. Okay, if you don't got a pussy, that's fine. You can still do the pussy stretch. Stretch whatever the fuck you have. Leg forward and sit there. 
Think about your trauma. Think about breathing. Talk about yourself. Look how good my side profile is. I am fine. All right, push back into downward dog, or no, plank, my bad, and then down, cobra. We're not going back into downward dog. What we're doing is going into child pose. Look at that booty, child pose. We're going to hold it here. I don't like child pose, small pose, um, because, you know, this is not for children. None of this is for children. So we're going to do our very final stretch, which is, which is the diamond, a.k.a. the vagina stretch, a.k.a. whatever, the legs open stretch, whatever you want to call it. I haven't figured out a name. Um, so lay on your back, lift your legs in the air and open them and let them just fall to the side. Now I call it the diamond stretch because the sex position was actually based off of my name that a man created for me. So you can put your feet together and hold it in the shape of a diamond. But what I like to do is to open my legs and just let them hang there. Um, because it stretches them and it's awesome. Yeah. So thank you for watching this y'all. I really appreciate y'all coming to my bullshit and we are growing and stretching and shrinking together. I don't have to do the shit by myself anymore. And I really fucking appreciate it. That's all I wanted to say. All right, now close your fucking legs, you whore. Lift yourself up. Hey, thank you for watching. Bye.